What can she do to dazzle him for Valentine's Day? Well, what I've done is I've put together a great meal. You don't have any more excuses because this is easy, it's simple, and you can do it in a, a really good time frame. So what I have here is I've got this great, and I'm actually using uh, savory and sweet chocolates to do this whole menu. So there's a little something for everybody. There's beef, there's chocolate, it's light, it's finessed, so everybody can enjoy it. And what this is is a cocoa, it's an ancho cocoa soup. And it's got a little sour cream, light sour cream, cilantro. And then what I do is it's just pureed. It's a lot of nice veggies, zucchini, onions, garlic, uh, a lot of really good spice and chili in here, some ancho chili. And then I just finish it with a little bit of uh, a savory Mexican chocolate on top. I have a little bowl here. And your husband, you're going to love this. You will love this soup, I promise. And you can do this because it's really just sauteing the vegetables very quickly, adding in the spices, and then pureeing it. So you can boil Simple. vegetables, right? She can boil vegetables. <laughs> if she can make pancakes, no, if, she, if you can on. make pancakes, you can make you can boil vegetables. Look, even Got I it. can even I can <laughs> even I can fry water. Okay. The next thing I'm making is a quick mole. Now again, we're using a Mexican chocolate or a savory chocolate or bittersweet chocolate, and this has a cocoa chili blend that you can buy in your local grocery store. It's all blended up for you, so you don't have to worry about measurements. Okay. It's all blended and ready to go. So what I do is I take, this is onion, garlic, a little bit of uh, chili in there. We've got some red bell pepper, um, all kinds of really good flavor, cilantro in here. And what, again, a little chocolate melted okay. in. After you've pureed everything, you take it off and you add in some brown sugar, a little bit of brown sugar, because you want a sweet savory, just to sweeten it up a little bit, but not too sweet, a little sweet savory. A little bit of the cocoa chili blend that you can find in your local grocery store, right in there. And then again, I'm going to take a little bit of chocolate and grate it. Same chocolate, just a little bit of Mexican savory chocolate, grate it right over it, mix it in, and then you've got a quick mole. Now, moles usually take hours to make. This is a quick, simple, cut-down version of a mole, but it's still absolutely fantastic. What do you do with a mole? The mole, I'm going to put over this beef tenderloin. Oh, where'd you oh. get this? How's she going to do this without burning the house down? <laughs> well, that's, it. that's good. That's a good question. So what you're going to do here is you can do this either in a saute pan or you can do it on an indoor grill or an outdoor grill, depending on your situation. Okay? You want me to have a there grill you go. in the house? Do you and have an outdoor grill? <laughs> yeah. You do. Because the firefighters can get quicker. <laughs> This might be your job. It's our second grill. So what so you we'll can do, do is, the beef. You yes. can do the beef, right? We can have Lily. We can have Lily put the rub on it. And again, what I'm using is, is this is just a cocoa chili rub. It's the same one you bought at the grocery store. The same mix that I put into the mole. And what I did was just did, did the cocoa chili rub on it, some sea salt or just regular kosher salt, and a little bit of cracked pepper. That's it. Very simple to, to put the rub on. Then what you're going to do is just slice it. Now, I'm using beef tenderloin here, but you can also use flank steak. You can also use a skirt steak, something a little less expensive. Put it on the skewers. You can throw this on the grill for yes. while she's finishing up the meal. How's that sound? Uh, Doing okay, okay so far? Are I you think glazing so. over? Or are, you, are, you, <laughs> are you got, you look like you have mole in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> You can use this for several different things. I mean, it's definitely a great go-to sauce. And again, quick, easy, and fast. Now, this is the sexy part, OK? There's nothing like Valentine's Day or a romantic meal without a chocolate fondue. Does everybody agree with that? Yeah. Little chocolate. You want to come over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah come over here and get, get a little bit in here. I just added a little bit of cream here, a little bit of sugar, melted the chocolate over the stove, and voila, you have the fondue. Now, this little pot right here, it keeps it warm. If you don't want to do this, you could also do a double boiler at home. But this is a little bit more romantic for 20, 25 bucks. All right, so what we do is just take a little bit of a uh, little bit of strawberry here, and, and Dr. Phil, you know, this is where you can get a little romantic robin too. Yeah, she goes for romance. anything chocolate. Yeah, yeah <laughs> a little she's dip all in there. about chocolate. Feeding each other. I mean, the great thing about this menu too is, like I said, there's a little something for everybody. 